DJ Bertu Beer Review. Stage right, we have what? We have beer that's come from to us from Sierra Nevada and Vine Stefana. So you may suspect, oh, maybe we're doing a collab beer review. Yes, that's right, we are today. And this is a collab, as you can surmise by what I just talked about, from our friends at Vine Stefana in Sierra Nevada. This beer has been brewed at the famous Wine Stefana Brewery in Freising, Germany. It's been around since 1040. Oldest brewery in the world, by the way. And what beer do we have? As a fruit of this sort of labor today, we have their Braupacht. This is a half a Weizen. It's a limited serving of Cloxin at 6% ABV and 35 IBUs. Now, Vine Stefana is the undisputed king of half a beer. And Sierra Nevada is one of these, I guess, uh, sources or the beginnings of the craft beer world known as IPA. That's right. So we got some you know, collab things going on here. It's got to go into ingredients because we know Von Stefano, like we said, is the king of Hefeweizens. Well, what do we do? We IPA it up. We hop that Hefeweizen up and do we do that by using Hollertau Tradition Ops, coming our friends at Wine Stefana, and then we're using Amarillo, or Amarillo if you prefer, and Chinook Ops from our friends at Sierra Nevada. So then they go into the straight up wheat beer action by using wheat, light, and dark barley, and caramel malt. So this beer is still run high school booth compliant, but it's all about bringing flavor. So time to stop flapping my gums. Pop the top on this bad boy that at time of recording by the date on the back of it has been in the bottle for three weeks, which is still super fresh. Yeah, we're going to start flacking them gums and tell you what's up with Brawl Pot. Hell yes. Boom. Gigantic hiss off the top. Obsessively collectible crown. Wow, a little bit of yeast all the way at the top here. Hell yeah. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Look at that. Wheat beer deliciousness going into the glass. I'm going to stop right about there. We'll give it a chance to settle. And let's talk about the appearance. Of course, it's got a massive head. And I didn't even pour it hard. Why? Because it's a head of Weizen, and that's how they pour. We've got a solid four fingers in this Weiss beer glass. But it's a gorgeous, sort of, I guess, cloudy, amber-orange color. And look at those super tightly packed, precise bubbles. If I swirled it, you may get a little tiny bit of alcohol legs. And I know we'll get glass legs in this from this. Why? Because I've drank many, many Von Stefano beers. I've always get, always get glass legs, especially off their beers. But man, look at that. That is a beautiful, almost stereotypic looking vice beer in the glass. But you know what? It looks pretty. But it better taste good and smell good too. So let's first get into it by diving in for the aroma. Mm, man, banana, clove, big punch of citrus, a little bit of pine, tons of spice. Mm, more citrus rolling off as the head recedes. Mm, some peach. Mm, man, it's a more complex aroma than you usually get from the straight up, which is delicious aroma, don't get me wrong. Straight up, just banana bready sort of aroma that you get from Vine Stefano's Have a Vice Beers. But man, nice peach, citrus, grassy herbaceousness, floral, and also a bit of pine. Mmm, smells delicious. Let's dive in. You could say Prost, cheers, or maybe Zumbol. I had to chug a little harder than I usually would mm. to get a taste of that. Yum. That is a tasty brew. First off, thing that impressed me with this, all these Heaven of Ice BS from Vine Stefano is that they're precise. And you can taste that. They're precise. This thing is crazy crushable. It's got that medium to medium thin mouthfeel. I guess medium thin that you always get in their Heaven of Ice BS. But right up in front, you get a punch of clove. After that, the banana comes in. Then I'm getting those peachy, floral, herbaceous notes and a bit of pine in the back end with a slight more bitterness than I'm used to having in these beers, but that isn't necessarily a bad thing. Wow, really tasty. I've almost only got foam left in the glass. This is kind of a petite, nice beer glass, but wow, really tasty, super duper crushable. I mean, you could, you could look at the head in there. You could put a freaking bottle cap on top of this if I wanted to put it in there, and it would stand on that because that is just crazy thick. And, of course, there's glass lacing. Wow. Super crisp, clean, and it's a cool marriage 
of the straight out Vine Stefano Hefeweizen beer with that kind of IPA-ish West Coast thing twist going on with those peachy and herbaceous and, and um like kind of grassy piney notes going on there. Yum. I'm digging it. You know, you guys know I li really like this kind of beer just crushed down and chill while I'm cooking or something, which is what I'm about to go do after we finish this review. But before then, I guess I got to grade this. <sighs> so at time of recording, Beer Advocate is giving this 4.21 out of 5 caps. Definitely into their A range. And Untapped is this give is giving this 3.61 caps out of 5. So I'd say that's definitely in their high B plus to A minus, probably A minus range. Let me take one more taste of this because that's all I've got left in the bottom of this. I'll have to pour more for my end pictures. See what we got here. Really tasty. Super crushable. It's an A level beer. I'm going 90, 95. Right into that A range. Super tasty. I'd buy it again, drink it again. Six pack of this, especially on a hot day. I think we even taste even better to me. So, have you had Vine Stefana and Sierra Nevada's Brawl Pacht? If you have, let me know what you know because I like to quit for a quote and <laughs> the back and forth. I also really like it when you do me a big favor and think locally, drink locally, and support the craft beer movement. By drinking this beer, I'm getting it all done. Are you doing your part? I hope so. Also, what is really super duper cool is when you rate comment, subscribe, and if you can get around to it, maybe consider kind of uh, smashing that like button because that, along with, all I'm going to need is one pounder here of our friend Braubach tonight to put my big ass happy face on. So the next DJ's Brew Tube, I got nothing but a hell of a bunch of Vine Stefano with Sierra Nevada's help. Braubach drinking love for you, and you know what's coming. That's right, a big ass pizza!